<laughs> Welcome back everyone to the Otaku Collective. As you can see, I have uh, obtained some new inventory that uh, <clears throat> you might have seen if you took a look at my Instagram post, if you do follow me on Instagram. Um, I just happened to go to Walmart at the right time. The person who normally stocks at the day uh, during that time went ran late. So the scalpers, they all went home and I was able to go in after work and pull in all of this treasure. So, yes, I will finally be opening up Shining Fates and Battle Styles. And I also got a couple of Time Spiral boxes to open as well. That set is actually really fun and I do like it. But these boxes, I think I'll be opening up on my Instagram. There's only two boxes. These are not easy to get. And the booster boxes are very expensive. But I do have something very special for y'all today. Now, I did get my package in for battle styles. So I have two trainer boxes and I have an entire booster box. So I think I'll start off with a trainer box. I'm not sure what I want to do with the booster box. Maybe do another ASMR like I've done before or something. But we'll see. But for right now, I just want to get my feet wet with the trainer box. So before I do open that, though, I want to open the actual box that was shipped to me along with you guys. I want to record that fully sealed just to make sure there's no funny business there. And if there is, I do want to capture that on camera like I've done before. So that way I'm the one who gets screwed, but not you guys. So I'll show who it was that shipped the box to me and all that and we'll see if there's any funny business there and if there is again you will know so why don't we go ahead and move to a, a more roomier spot so I can open this giant box all right that uh, took a bit more time than I thought it would lugging all this stuff out here but this is the the case that they sent me and I did tape over all the sensitive information and all that stuff when one of docs myself uh, lesson learned that uh, using a pen or a permanent marker or whatever doesn't work very well you can see through that so uh, that's why there's tape on here but this did come to me from non-stop gaming and I did order this off of Amazon although it doesn't look like an Amazon box so this looks like like some kind of a box they used for in some other product they might have ordered. Tins, I believe it said on the side of the box. But as you can see, there's no, everything is sealed. You know, I haven't tried opening it whatsoever. I almost did because I really wanted to tear into it. But uh, I waited for the video because if I did get hosed, that would make for something interesting. And if I do, well, it's going to be a short video because obviously I can't return it if I just go ahead and open it all, I suppose. But, alright, why don't we go ahead and uh, open this up and see whether or not I did in fact get scammed. So let's try and open this up. Hopefully I don't cut into the product itself. I do apologize for any background noise, guys. I am filming outside, as you can probably tell. And I did move some things around so that way the camera wouldn't shake too much. Oh, this thing is on there. And it would cut. Uh, but I would make some cuts, but I want to make sure I get this in one take. I don't want anybody to uh, call me some kind of liar if this was in fact, you know, if I didn't in fact get scammed. Especially the freaking seller. So it's covered in bubble wrap. It's hey, it's it's in here pretty good. Look at that. That's pretty nice. I do apologize if you can't hear me too well. I have the microphone off to the side. So let's see. So we got a first nicely bubble wrapped product. Oops, that flew off the table. All right, battle styles. Okay, let's dang, it is on there. I think that means it's secured. Slide that out. So here is a fully sealed Battle Styles Elite Trainer box. They don't come in that Pokeball one, right? This should be a proper seal, I would say. 
doesn't look like it's been resealed from what I could tell. So this looks sick. So okay, let's set this aside. Let's take a look at this one. Right. Cut into these, make it easier. Okay, that one came off. This one's coming off a lot easier. Okay, next box. Everything looks good. This is the Red Battle Styles Elite Trainer box. I'm not too familiar with these Pokemon here because I have not played the expansion. I spend most of my time either making videos, watching videos, or sleeping. So, let's see. And everything looks okay. Nothing has been torn into. It's got that perforated tape. Um, what is that? With the little holes and everything and all that. It looks fine. It's okay. That looks safe. Now we'll get into the nitty gritty once we open everything and then see if any of the packs have been opened. Sure hope not. I want to continue on with opening this stuff. Okay, so here is the booster box for Battle Styles. Everything looks on the up and up maybe? This is the actual Pokemon wrap. You can basically wipe this stuff off with your finger. That's how you get that uh, white powder. That is a thing. So let's see, this looks okay. The sides and all that. What's this? Hmm. I guess, I don't know. I couldn't tell even if it was, I suppose. <laughs> Unless it's so obvious. What's a little scrunched up here, but uh, I guess that's all right. So, I guess we'll start off with one of those trainer boxes and then we'll move on. So now that I finally moved all this stuff, we can finally move back to our usual setting. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, and we're back to the main desk. Now there's something else I wanted to show you as well. I bought this uh, at the same time I got that uh, Battle Styles box. Let me show you right here. Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's add a little more color to that. Yeah. New Matt. And it's a uh, fan favorite. Marnie. I had to admit I was looking for a Lily Matt. But I couldn't find any. At least none that were particularly uh, affordable. And none that lit up like this one. Let's take a look at this without the lights. Forgot I still had that other light on, but yeah. Not too bad. Kind of nice for those people who like the RGB. I don't normally care too much, too much, but uh, they don't look too bad. So let's switch these lights back on and uh, set this camera back in place. And let's go ahead and get started with The first trainer box. So this is, I think blue is Rapid Strike, right? Something like that. But yeah, as per usual, we're here for the packs. But of course, it's got all this stuff. Got the dice. We got the sleeves. We got the dividers. We got the energies. We got the player's guide. We got some tokens. And of course, the box that you can put everything in. So let's adjust this. So we can see more of the uh, beautiful mat that I bought. Let's get cracking. All right. So let's see if I can poke into this without using a freaking blade. All right, no problem. So tell me everyone in the comments below, how difficult has it been for y'all to get any product whatsoever? I had to uh, just swallow it and basically just pay these prices that they're selling these things at. Now, I did technically pre-order, even though it wasn't too far from release. So the price wasn't ridiculous, or any, uh, I suppose too crazy. It wasn't too different from, you know, whenever I usually buy this much, but normally I'm able to get a little bit more for what I paid like those blisters and all that stuff, the extra stuff I've done before. So we've got this, uh, something we could use as a poster, even though I never really do. Especially with these folds, it just doesn't seem 
Nice. I mean, who would honestly hang this? Suppose you can leave them on your box. They still stick. But all right. Now we got to take a look at the trainer box here. Nothing too crazy. Some nice waves. That looks pretty nice. And of course, on the inside, we got all the goodies that we're looking for. So here we got the... So this is the, uh, the rules and all that. The trainer box is a great way for people to get started with the game. Comes with everything you need. So we got that. Take this out of the way. All it is is just a little... I guess piece of cardboard to like fluff up the size of it. I don't really know. So we've got the uh, nice jello blue dice. Kind of makes me want to eat some jello. We've got some tokens, as per usual. Here we got these sleeves. I do make use of these for like regular hollows, general hollows, and stuff like that. And uh, here we got our pack of energies. Here we have our code card. Gotta hide that uh, scanner so that way people do have a chance, at least. And our last bit of merch in this box, the dividers. Just regular pieces of cardboard to divide up your cards. Now, I have been running out of space. I legit need to trade in these cards. I have so much bulk. But anyway, here is what we're after. The packs themselves. Some uh, red and blue packs. Reminiscent of Pokemon Red and Blue, I suppose. They feel alright. But let's see if we get anything super interesting out of this. Now, I don't know exactly which one's the money card. I would assume it's the... Uh, this big bear over here. His, uh, his super hyper rare card or whatever it is. Yep, they're pulling out this way. That's good. All right, so let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. The front first pack, and this is upside down. Are you serious? Let me inspect this pack. Is this re glued in any way? Non stop gaming, you are not out of the hot seat yet. I don't know, it looks all right, but that's just sketchy. And it is legit upside down, as you can see. Well, there's our energy. So here's a uh, Tower of Waters, Rapid Strike, Karina's Focus, Per Ugly, Bell Sprout, Bronzor, Marco, Horsey, Cheruby, and I got a, a Cherum. Reverse, the evolution of Cheruby there, and we're ending off with a Stone Jorner Single Strike. Nothing great there. That pack was rather suspicious. It doesn't seem like it was repacked unless these guys are masters of re-gluing. So let's try that again and see what happens. Okay, well, there's your code. That's not upside down. So one, two, three. Yeah, legitimately the energy card is upside down. Is this usually the case? I don't think that's been the case whenever I've been watching people open up this set. So here's an upside down fire energy. We got Durant, Camping Gear, Honchcrow, Salandit, Bell Sprout, Mind Fu, Yamper, Glammeow. We got a Bruno, reverse one of the original uh, Elite Four. And at the end, a Vivillion. Okay, things are not looking right here. I mean, I've seen, like, this kind of stuff on the packs before. It doesn't mean that it's resealed. What's what's odd is when you see it on, on the edges. Look at that. Okay. All right. You know what? Why don't we take a look on the other side? So this is a white code card. That means there should be something here. And if there isn't, that's funny business right there. What did the other card packs show? They were green. Okay, so there just wasn't anything in them. Two, three, again, upside down, four. And upside down, psychic energy. 
We got a Dottler. We got a Ndidi. We got a Crawdont. We got a Houndor. Single Strike. We got Scatterbug. We got Hone Edge. We got Gliger. Electabuzz. That's pretty neat artwork. Very DBZ. I like that. And we got a Gliger in reverse. And. Oh! What? Okay, maybe these aren't repacks. Because if they were, this would have definitely been taken out. So here we got Single Strike Urshifu V Max. And this is the. Uh, what is this? Man, it's kind of hard to tell because I know there's variants. And then there's, you know, the freaking Rainbow Ultra Rares. Is this? So this is a V Max card. Not sure what the price is on this, but you will see in post. So we got one of the uh, one of the big boys. We got one of the legendaries himself. So that's pretty sick. So I don't think this is the the grand, you know, freaking rare card that we're gonna be wanting to get. But still, still nice that we got something, and it's making me feel a little bit better about these packs. Cause. Uh, I don't know. These packs are just... Man, it... I've never... I haven't seen the energies be upside down when people open this set. One, two, three... Again. So I guess this is just a thing. Who knows? Maybe the the guy who packed them is so smart, he's like... I'm just going to make it look like it's a thing. But what would be the point? Per Ugly. Tower of Darkness. We got a girder. Sizzly P, little clay, Sizzly P, Glam Yow, Slowpoke with the golden head. We got a Yampar, Yamper with a Pokeball in its mouth. Murkrow, I do like that uh, purple cemetery look right there. Very nice. And we got a Cacnea, reverse. And we got uh we got a Galarian Slowbro getting bitten by uh by that shell thing, whatever it is. What is that even called? We ever get a name for that? Whatever the hell that is. I mean, it is sentient, right? Technically, it can be a Pokemon in its own. This make me wonder. Like, is that thing an actual Pokemon by itself? Apparently, it's not really until it latches onto a uh, Slowpoke. One, two, three, four. Another upside down. Man, that is the strangest thing. The upside down water energy. We got a car coal. We got a pig knight. We got a fan of waves. We got a timber. We got a tepig. We got a glam meow. We got a silly crobra. And these are some smooth cards. They are sliding around. We got a frillish. And we got a reverse BB. Very nice. Oh! Dude! We got a golden. Is this a shiny? Because Octillery is obviously orange. But right here, he is legit gold. Octillery. Rapid Strike. With Rapid Strike Search. Waterfall. Number 178 of 163. He's not no big boss. You know, high value card, I would imagine. But it is a golden rare. And it is a golden Octillery. This has got to be a shiny, right? Obviously. Hmm. That is fascinating, though. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's got those little sparkles around it. This is... I mean, it's a freaking shiny artillery. I mean, what else could it be? There's no such thing as a... Just a regular gold artillery. Unless I've been away from the game for too long. But I'm pretty dang sure artillery is orange. Okay. Our next card. By the way, guys, a uh, big shout out to uh, Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm just kidding. I'm putting that right set up. Big shout out to all those, uh, to all you hard workers out there who've got soul crushing jobs like myself. Came back, uh, started doing this like after work. Had quite an infuri uh, infuriating end of the day. But, you know, you do what you got to do to afford these uh, pieces of cardboard, right? But, yeah, just hats off to you guys. You're making the making the market move and all that stuff. 
Just working your soul-crushing jobs as best as you can. I feel you guys. We got a uh, Onyx. Very simple looking artwork. A Yamper. Reverse. And... We got a Jellicent. Not epic. Alright. These are opening more this way. As if they're kind of falling apart. But alright. Here's your next code. And one, two, three. And that is still a thing. That is blowing my freaking mind, dude. We got our grass energy. We got single strike style mustard. Excuse me? This guy's name is actually Mustard? What the heck? Like I said, I didn't play the expansion, so... I don't really know all the new characters. Bruno, original Elite Four, I believe, right? Sizzly P, they got a Shinx, I do like a Shinx. Cacnea, Ponyard. We got a Reverse Bruxish. And... We got a Mineshow. Mineshow. The right type of Pokemon for this set. But alright everyone, we are on our last pack. Hopefully we close on something else that's cool. We already got some two really nice looking cards. So would it be asking for too much? Nah. Keep going. Keep that luck of rolling. I don't want to stop. I want to keep seeing more stuff. Alright, so here is the last code card. Alright, one, two, three... Or the front. We got an upside down electric energy. We got a Karina's Focus. We got a Pur Ugly. We got a Haunch Crow. We got a Galarian Mr. Mime. We got a Fomantis. We got a Sparrow. Zubat. We got a Cubone. We got a Reverse Mawile. And our very last card of the box. Please be something. And it is something! We got a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Nice! I had a feeling. I think I saw... I thought I saw a little bit of that Black Edge. But yeah, Rapid Strike Urshifu V with Strafe, 100 Furious Blows, number 87 out of 163. It is not the uh, Super Ultra Rare card, but still, it's nice to get something on the close. So maybe I wasn't hosed. It did. The, everything was just super sketchy, though. These being upside down, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I guess these packs felt all right. It's just that caught me off guard. But with that, guys, this is these are our pulls for today. Not not bad at all, to be honest. For tra trainer boxes, are usually pretty good. I don't do too well with the collector's boxes, but trainer boxes are normally pretty good. So, with that, guys, do remember to like, subscribe, you know, smash that like button, smash that bell button, or what have you. Go ahead and follow me on the other social medias. I won't list them all, but you can see them all in the description. I do open a lot of stuff on my Instagram. You'll see me open those uh, Time Spiral boxes on there eventually. So, with that, guys, do remember to keep on collecting and keep on sharing. I'll see you guys next time on the next Battle Styles opening. Thank you for joining me.